In this video, we'll be taking a look at one college football game's happening on December 21, 2022, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game, so two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. South Alabama vs. Western Kentucky The South Alabama Jaguars and Western Kentucky Hilltoppers clash Wednesday in the college football New Orleans Bowl from Mercedes-Benz Superdome. South Alabama finished off the regular season at 10-2 overall. The Jaguars beat Old Dominion in their last game. As for Western Kentucky, they're 8-5 and fresh off an overtime win vs. Florida Atlantic. The South Alabama Jaguars are 10-2 this season after they defeated Old Dominion by a score of 27-20 in their last game. South Alabama gained 398 total yards, went 9-17 on third down attempts, and 3-3 on fourth down attempts in the win. South Alabama has won five games in a row and eight of their last nine games. The South Alabama offense is averaging 32 points per game with 258.6 passing yards per game and 166.1 rushing yards per game. Carter Bradley has thrown for 2,976 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions for the Jaguars this season. Let Amian Webb has rushed for 1,014 yards and 13 scores, while Jalen Wayne has caught 56 passes for 795 yards and 9 touchdowns for South Alabama. The South Alabama defense is giving up 19 points per game and 304.5 yards per game. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers are 8-5 this season after they defeated Florida Atlantic in overtime by a score of 32-31 in their last game. Western Kentucky gained 571 total yards and turned the ball over two times in the win. Western Kentucky has won three of their last four games and five of their last seven games. The Western Kentucky offense is averaging 36 points per game with 339 passing yards per game and 144.3 rushing yards per game. Austin Reed has thrown for 4,247 yards, 36 touchdown and 10 interceptions for the Hilltoppers this season. Kai Robichalks has rushed for 496 yards and 3 touchdowns, while Malachi Corley has caught 90 passes for 1,179 yards and 9 scores for Western Kentucky. The Western Kentucky defense is allowing 23.5 points per game and 381.1 yards per game. The Hilltoppers are 5-0 against the spread versus a team with a winning record and 10-3 against the spread in their last 13 on turf. Western Kentucky is 1-4 against against the spread in their last five versus the Sun Belt. Meanwhile, the Jaguars are 8-3 against the spread in the last 11 on turf and 3-1-1 against the spread in the last five overall. South Alabama is 4-0 against the spread in their last four non-conference games. The Jaguars lost just two games on the season, one to UCLA by just a point and the other by four points to conference rival Troy, now ranked number 24. They are efficient on both sides of the ball and though the Hilltoppers' offense is better, South Alabama's defense is the standout in this picture. The Western Kentucky offense is as potent as it has been in past years lately and they did lose two of their starting linemen which will allow the Jags a chance to manipulate the game up front, where they already hold a big advantage. The Hilltoppers and Jaguars are both solid squads with different offensive strategies. Western Kentucky would prefer a high-scoring affair with its elite passing attack, while South Alabama would elect to keep the ball on the ground against Western Kentucky's subpar run defense. I'll bet the latter is the best approach, as it will help South Alabama control the clock just as long as it takes care of the football which it did for the most part this season. The Hilltoppers run an extremely pass-heavy offense with the fifth-highest pass play percentage in the country, so the primary focus of the South Alabama defense will be defending the attack through the air. This should not be a problem for the Jaguars, as they rank 15th in opposing expected points added per pass per CFB graphs, 28th in PFF's pass rush, and 40th in PFF's pass coverage. Western Kentucky quarterback Austin Reed decided to transfer after the regular season, but he seemingly changed his mind and will return to the program and start in this game. While that will be a huge boost for the Western Kentucky offense, the Hilltoppers will be without two of their starting offensive linemen in Gunnar Britton and Rusty Stotts, both of whom are transferring. The loss of Britton and Stotts will be significant in this matchup, as their absences mean
mean that inexperienced underclassmen will be filling in for them. Britton was the team's best lineman and ranks in the top 45 out of all offensive linemen in college football according to PFF, while Stotts ranks in the top 25 out of all centers. For football outsiders, South Alabama's defensive line ranks 25th in average line yards and 66th in sack rate, so the Reed's protection will certainly be in question. When under pressure, Reed completes just 48.8% of his passes with a 2.2% big-time throw percentage and a 5.6% turnover-worthy play percentage, so being without two starting offensive linemen may cause this offense to stall at certain points of this game. Western Kentucky also allowed 230 passing yards per game, which should lead to a more balanced South Alabama offense. Bradley is an above-average gunslinger, and he possesses three receivers with 700-plus receiving yards in his arsenal. South Alabama is 7-4 to 1 against the spread on the year, but more important 5-1 to one against the spread away from home. With a plus 9.9 .9 average scoring margin and the 14th best scoring defense in the nation, the South Alabama Jaguars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. South Alabama has a balanced offensive attack, and both teams can score. The Jaguars average 32 points per game over its final five games, and the Hilltoppers boast a top-20 scoring offense. When the Jags faced Georgia Southern's sixth-ranked passing offense, they gave up 10.7 yards per pass, leading to a 38-31 final score. South Alabama has had seven of their games go over this season, and over their last four, three have gone over and one pushed. Since I like them to dictate the game for the most part, I expect they keep this trend going. Both teams can score and though the Jaguars' defense should be the difference maker in this game, the Hilltoppers still have plenty of offense to break through a few times. Combined these two teams are nearly 10 points over this total. It's the final game of the season, so time to let it all hang out for both sides. The over is 4-0 in the Hilltoppers' last four games in December and 3-0-1 in the Jaguars' last four games following a straight-up win. I'll bet the total hits over 56 points in the New Orleans Bowl. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.